Hey there, I usually see that newbies are struggling with these four parameters of progressive image sampler, so let's delve into them. First of all, we have min and max subjects here, which are from 1 to 100. So what's the meaning of that? It means that we let V-Ray choose the quality of each pixel itself. It uses a subdiv of 1 wherever is needed and it increases the subdiv again wherever is needed. It's all up to V-Ray. So we completely ignore this section. V-Ray knows what to do itself better than us. But we have a limitation here, which is noise threshold. By using noise threshold, I limit the V-Ray in terms of quality. By increasing this parameter, we're gonna have a faster render with a lot more amount of noise. So if you don't want to sacrifice your time versus having less noise, you can increase this parameter. And on the contrary, if you have a lot of time and you don't want your render to be noisy, you can decrease this parameter and your render is gonna be so clean. But keep in mind that you can get the hang of this parameter completely by trial and error. And by max render time, we can limit the time of our render. For example, after determining the noise threshold, our render is gonna take, for example, half an hour. But we set max render time to something like 10 minutes. So no matter what your noise threshold rate is, V-Ray will terminate your render after 10 minutes. So max render time and noise thresholds are two types of limitations of our render, and you can use them at the same time. So in this state, if my noise level reaches to 0.01, .01, my render will be stopped. And if this process takes more than half an hour, my render will be stopped eventually after half an hour because I have time limitation too. And this was how these four parameters work.